I'm here on the balcony at Queen's Club for the Aegon Championships and I'm delighted to be joined by Ross Hutchins. Ross, it's great to have you here. Can you just tell me, first of all, what your involvement here at the club is this week? Well, I'm doing some media work actually for um, for Eurosports, doing the studio work and sort of uh, analysing and talking about matches and, you know, there's so many amazing players here that, that we can comment on and, and sort of admire their, their mastery. Um, and also, more excitingly, I'm doing, um, running the event on Sunday, the Rally Against Cancer, um, which is the an event for the Royal Marsden Cancer Charity. It's straight after the men's singles final and uh, it's going to be a packed house and we just hope for a good day uh, of weather. So what exactly is happening on Sunday? What kind of match? Yeah, well, it's exciting. We start off with a match with Andy Murray and Tim Henman, um, the British pair. They've never played together on a grass court together in a match of any kind against Ivan Lendl and Thomas Burditch, the Czech player. So it's like a Britain versus Czech match. Um, and, you know, Ivan Lendl hasn't been here for 20 years to play on the grass court since he won this title so former champion so it's an amazing day and then after that we got um, celebrities coming on the court of, of Michael McIntyre and Jonathan Ross and um, you know a lot of players like that Boris Johnson Richard Branson and playing with Andy and Tim so it's going to be an amazing day and all raising money trying to raise a hundred thousand pounds for the Royal Marsden Cancer Charity which will be you know amazing amount for, for one day's work and there are raffle tickets to buy throughout the week as well. There are, yeah. So each day there's probably four prizes, amazing prizes from Ashes tickets and Wimbledon finals day tickets and uh, signed memorabilia and just, just all sorts of prizes and, and weekend breaks to America. You know, and it's £10 a raffle ticket. So if you see the people, they're walking around, there's uh, different stops where you just go and buy some tickets and hope you win because I'll be doing the same. <laughs> that sounds fantastic. Now, Ross, you were diagnosed with Hodgkin's lymphoma back in December. How's everything going for you? The treatment's going well, thanks. Um, 11 chemo sessions down. Uh, I have it every two weeks, so it's been about almost six months now. Next week, well, on Thursday, will be uh, my 12th session, which is the last one of the intended chemotherapy pl uh, sessions. Um, then we got to wait and have scans, and hopefully it will show that there's a big reduction. Well, no, actually, hopefully it will show it's gone. <laughs> a big reduction first. Um, and then more scans and more tests and everything like that. So it's a long process, um, and, you know, it's all about me trying to get back to full strength and fitness, but I'm feeling good and feeling positive and really Really nice to be involved in something that can keep my mind off the uh, the treatment. We wish you the best of luck. It's great to have you here. We want everybody to dig deep and uh, raise some money this week. Thank you. Thanks a lot.